Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, I'm going to look at the short-term charts of Bitcoin, but I am also going to zoom out because I know a lot of you are freaking out about every change in the charts, but I want to show you a very bearish and a very bullish uh, chart that show you exactly that we don't know what way, which way we are going to go. Are we going to go to the bullish version or to the bearish version? I just want to share them both with you so that you understand what the possibilities are at the moment. Really cool charts. Watch the video till the end. Let's jump in it. Let's This is the short term. This is what everybody has been freaking out about. This, for example, the four hour chart. Um, this one is in the Aurox platform. We always use that one because the Bam Bam indicator is on there. For example, um, the Bam Bam is doubting long or short. Now again, it's giving a long. We didn't see a closing candle above the yellow stepping line. So that's not a valid confirmation of that long. We need to wait till we see a closing candle above the yellow stepping line till we see the BAM here in the bottom here above that gray line and the gray line should be going up a little bit and we need to see green hills of grass because that is where the bulls play around. We can see in the four hour guys that there is support. That yellow line is a support line. On that yellow line, if you look to the left, you can see we have been fighting it. We have been finding support on it. Now again, finding support on that level, 37,600 US dollar. Um, let's go up, please, from here. <laughs> that is what I want. Now, if we zoom out a little bit here to the day chart, we can see the same. We have the support lines and the yellow line over there. That is the 38,000 um, US dollar line, but that's the day chart. This line and um, this candle is going to close and I think 12 hours, 11 hours and 48 minutes. And let's see if we can close that candle above that line. Then you can see that this line has been important as well. If you look to the left, you can see how often it was resistant or support or support over there or resistance over here. So we should be closing this candle above 38,600 US dollar in 12 hours. That would keep me a little bit positive because if we look even lower, we can see the RSI. That one is also going upwards. We can see over here. So that needs to bounce on this line and go up a little bit more. And that would be very positive. And also the BAM is curling up again, the blue line. The white line needs to curl up as well. And we need to find some green hills instead of the yellow that we see. So let's see how that will develop. And if we zoom out even more, we go to the monthly. I've been sharing this chart a few times. Please watch this chart again because it's important. We have the 12 monthly moving average, 21 and the 200 weekly. 200 weekly, we have never in history closed a candle down below the 200 weekly moving average. And that is now above 20K. So very positive. We will we'll never go lower than the previous all time high. That is very positive to me. But are we going to hold the 21 move, moving average, which is at 37,100? We need to keep support on that level to be able to bounce from the blue line and break that orange line. That orange line is at 45,000 US dollar. The moment we come above the 45,000 US dollar, I will turn completely bullish again. Am I saying this is the bear market? I'm not saying it's a bear market. I'm saying we are in a bearish trend. Um, bear market is when we, we close down below that blue line, then I will admit we are in a bear market. Okay, now, um, I want to show two charts with you, two scenarios. These two scenarios will show you the two possibilities that I saw on TradingView created by other people. I love to share uh, charts that other people create as well. Why? Because more people have more knowledge. So I'm sharing other people's knowledge as well on this channel. And that's what I'm going to do now. Bam. This is the first job. I will put my face here. In my opinion, and also in the maker of the chart, this is the most bullish scenario, guys. If we look that in history, we in average had an 85% drop from the all time high to the bottom, but we never closed below the 200 weekly simple moving average, that black line. That would mean that if it always happened like this in history, and if we would do that now again, then the top should be 80% above that 200 weekly moving average. That 200 weekly moving average at the moment is at 20,000 US dollar. So the top should be 85% above it, which would create a top of 165K. And that would 
show us a chart like this is this going to play out like that i still have the hope but also the the, the feeling that this is going to happen because this double top here this round top I want to see a blow off top. I want to see the euphoria phase where everybody is like, oh shit, no, 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 we need to buy, buy, buy more, more, more. And that will create this blow off top. I agree that the economical situation, political situation, you know, the wars and all that shit that can have influence on this top. But at the end, it's still an asset that's always going up. In the end, it's always emotions that playing part. And at the end, people in Russia, Ukraine, Canada, all over the world start to understand the power of Bitcoin, which would and could lead to more um, demand for Bitcoin. They want to preserve their capital. They want to protect their capital. They understand that Bitcoin is doing this. So for me, this is a scenario that still can be playing out that we would go up to like above 100k, maybe even to 165k and then have an 85% drop to that 200 um, moving average on the weekly. This is the bullish one. Now, the last chart is the bearish one. Give me a few more minutes. It looks bullish at first sight, but it is a bearish um, chart, guys. And why is this bearish? Because if you look to the RSI on the bottom, it could be that we are now, um, like we see in the bear market over here, we are touching that midline of 44. That is like the redistribution phase. That, and that is the moment you should be accumulating because the bear market. And here we see the same. And now we are nearing that area of 44 again, again on the RSI. So is this going to be that bear market period? The top over here was 12 bars. That's like 265 days. Here it was a little bit more, 540 days. Here, till now, could it take all over to 730 days? So it could be the one, two, three, four, five waves, the red five waves. That would mean we would get another top or these black numbers the fifth wave was in and we are going to see a bear market touching that red line around 20k or even falling below that one to the blue line around 16k so this in my opinion is the most bearish chart i've been i could find on trading view at the moment i really like the chart you can see who created it is a wolf's okunami on, on top of that so shout out to him um, pause the video and check the chart yourself but the rsi on this one is telling me look we are coming to that line that we need to start accumulating in the bear market. So yes, then we can drop till 30K in my opinion, or maybe a little bit below it, but that's the bearish version in my opinion. Now, I hope that both of these charts were a little bit clear, but for me, I don't freak out on the minute and the hour charts. I keep accumulating Bitcoin all the time. If the Bitcoin drops, I buy more. I dollar cost average into Bitcoin. The freaking out on the four hour chart, the one hour chart, I will leave that to my BAM indicator. That one is telling me on the four hour and the one hour when to buy, when to sell, and I can make some profit with trading because of that. And especially when you use leverage trading on, for example, Bybit. Use the links down below um, the video. You get a bonus over there. But that is what I do. Short term, I leave it up to my indicator that tells me when to buy and when to sell make some profits over there long term i zoom out i look at the big play the scenarios uh, bullish or bearish even the bearish one now sounds bullish to me because just remember like one and a half year ago we were at 8k and we thought we would never go past by 20k again and now if the bearish scenario would put in a bottom between 25 and 30k and that would be the bottom for the new bull run I can't be even more bullish. I will be buying everything again and again and again around these levels if we drop. Again, I don't freak out. I zoom out. I hope you have a more clear image now on the bearish and on the bullish patterns that are forming. That is why the whole market is in doubt. But believe me, if you zoom out enough, you should be buying Bitcoin every day of your life. Now, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the bearish and the bullish scenario? Which one do you think is playing out? Whatever else you want to comment, leave it down below. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!